Hey guys, it's Miss Fernie. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to show you guys my everyday pamper routine. I don't do all these steps every day. This is more of like a pamper routine, but I am taking baths every day. So this is a little bit of how it goes. Okay, so I start off by brushing my teeth with this Sensodyne toothpaste. This is honestly my favorite toothpaste so far since I gotten pregnant because all the other toothpaste literally make me want to throw up. So this is just like a really light minty taste. So it doesn't really cause me nausea but yeah guys so right here i'm just brushing my tongue making sure i don't got no funky breath and this is one of the important steps guys make sure y'all do it too and you can't forget the floss y'all my boyfriend orders this um, floss from amazon and it works really good it's like a cinnamon flavor but i'm sure there's like other flavors you guys can pick from so just make sure you floss y'all do not want no plaque or no food in your teeth apply this indian healing clay mask and if you guys haven't heard about this mask you are now okay because this is literally the best mask to clear your pores so i just go ahead and dump it on the lid it says to dump it in like a metal bowl but you don't have to i always do it like this and then i just add some water and i start mixing this is the consistency that i like um, you can always add apple cider vinegar for better results but um, apple cider vinegar is a little too harsh for my skin so i just use water Okay, so here you see me putting it on my face and making sure that everything is covered because your girl needs it. Um, it's been a couple months since I've used it, but I'm in desperate need of it, so that's why I'm using it. And yeah, guys, so this mask literally helps so much. And after you use it, you might see that you break out a little bit, but that's because it's sucking everything from the inside and making it come out to the surface so it can clear everything. So that's another thing about this mask, but I promise you it's all worth it. Okay, so now that I look like the Green Goblin, I go ahead and get some jojoba oil so I can put in my hair and massage it in my scalp. My hair has been super dry lately because I've been applying heat to it, curling it, straightening, all of that. So I just want to give my hair some hydration and I add this to my roots and all over my hair. So after I'm done applying the oil all over my hair, guys, I just go ahead and brush it and put it in a low bun so it can be moisturizing my hair while I take a bath. These are the products that I use in my bath. I use some unscented bubble bath and I use apple cider vinegar. For the people who don't know the benefits of apple cider vinegar in baths, I'm going to tell you right now, it helps with eczema, it helps with yeast infections, it helps with body odor, it helps with dandruff, it helps to uh, balance your pH, y'all. Like, y'all really need to try this. I typically put like a cup's worth or two in my bath just so I can get the full effect. But you guys can put a little bit or a lot more, it doesn't matter, and you won't smell like apple cider vinegar. After that, I put my bubble bath and I just put just enough so it can be nice and soapy and bubbly in there so it can make me feel like I'm at a spa. Then I go ahead and light some candles to put me in the mood, y'all, just so I can relax. I got these candles from Ross, and then once my bath water is ready, I go ahead and I jump in. Once I'm in the bath relaxing, y'all, I gotta put some Jagged Edge or some type of R&B in the background so I can sing or just listen to it and just relax with the lights and the candles and the bubble bath. So that's one of my favorite parts. This is actually one of my favorite songs by Jagged Edge, so yeah. After I'm done with my bath, I go ahead and rinse and I wash my hair. So this is a shampoo and conditioner that I got from Costco. I really like this brand. And then this is the body wash that I use, the brand Ivory. This is literally my favorite, favorite, favorite body wash. And I got that from Target. And I also use a Dove Bar Soap. Okay, y'all, so don't mind my nails. I'm about to literally go get them done. But I do add a hair mask. This is the hair mask that I added in because, like I said, my hair was really, really dry. And I wanted to bring some hydration to it. And this is the Macadamia brand. I got this for $20, but it does retail for $40. And I ended up really liking it. It smells really good, and it made my hair super, super soft and silky. 
So after that, I exfoliate my body with this Tree Hut scrub. Y'all need to get you some. This smells so good. It makes your skin glow. And after this video, there was literally none because I love using it. I always use it. And I think they're only like seven bucks. And I get them from Target, but you can get them anywhere. Walmart, Ulta, anywhere like that. So I really do recommend these guys. Go ahead and get you some. After I'm done exfoliating and washing my hair and rinsing it. My last step is I go in with this baby dove and I wash my lady parts. This is literally the best soap that I've used to wash my lady parts. It is for newborns, so there's no harsh chemicals. It doesn't burn you and it keeps you fresh all day. So when I get out of the shower, these are the products that I use. I use this native deodorant. I use the stretch marks lotion. I use the hemp lotion and I use a body spray from Bath & Body Works. Here I'm applying the stretch mark lotion guys. I am seven months pregnant and I probably should have started this way before but my boyfriend got me this lotion and told me you better get on it. So I'm just rubbing my you know my back and my belly making sure that I get everything lathered up. Um, I'm not really too sure if it works or not. This is my first time using it but I do really like it because it does moisturize a lot. So if you guys have tried it let me know if it worked for you. So now I'm applying my lotion. This is the hemp lotion. I think this is the original classic scent and it smells so freaking good guys. It smells like some like blueberry yogurt or some shit like that. I don't know but it smells really good and it's really really moisturizing so I do recommend it. It's a little pricey but honestly I think it's worth it because that bottle is so big and it lasts a really really long time. And lastly, I go ahead and top everything off with this body mist from Bath & Body Works. It's called Poppy, and this literally smells so freaking good, guys. That sums up this video, guys. Go ahead and give me a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, guys.